Hello everybody, today we will see how to simulate an integrator based on an operation amplifier in LTSPICE. First of all, we're gonna select an operation amplifier, the element OP113, which is the generic operation amplifier library in LTSPICE. We place it here in our circuit. Then we will need to um, bias the operation amplifier. So we will use two batteries of 10 volt. Like this. We'll give the value here and volt and volt here. Then we connect two batteries and we place a ground in the middle. And then we can connect directly our batteries to the uh, bias point of the operational amplifier, or we can use label net. And we will select this second option in this case, in which we, uh, we with a right click here, we make label net, type output, name bias plus okay and so we put this here and here in this case we change the name with bias minus still an output label and then we will place two input label on the bias point of the operation amplifier we first of all we place this wire like this so that we have right space here and then we do the same right click in this place label net port type input name bias bias plus place it here the same here and then we change the name of this one in bias minus in this way we connected this battery this point and this battery to this other point with no need for a real wire between these two points so we can now build our integrator circuit so we place resistor control r here a condenser control r here we start closing by in the meshes we close the negative feedback condenser between the output and the inverting input and then we wire the R1 with our input signal input signal that we will call V3 between this point and ground so we add also a ground here with wire connected here and we add also a ground to the non-inverting input of the operational amplifier. We finally give some values to R1. Let's say one kilo ohm. C1, let's say one microfarad. And also we add a resistor here in parallel to the condenser. Connect the wires. And also we give a value to R2, which is 10 kilo ohm. Now we have to define the input signal and the kind of simulation that we want for our circuit. So concerning the input signal, we'll say here 0 volt DC value and then advance it. Advance it, we will use a pulse, square pulse signal in the in, at the input in which we have initial value of V minus one, V on plus one, the delay, let's say zero seconds, the rise, let's say 0 0.01 millisecond, the same for default here. And then T on, we say one millisecond, T period two milliseconds, and we establish like 50 cycles, okay? 
to replace this in our simulation. This is the definition of the input signal. And also we define our simulation as a simulation command button, transient stop time, let's say 100 milliseconds, and zero seconds, we start saving data. That's it, we place this here, and let's check if this simulation works. So we run it. This was the previous plot, we run the simulation. We have an empty plot with zero to 100 milliseconds, and we plot here the input first, which is this square pulse signal, periodic signal, and also we plot here the output, which is the one that we actually expect from an integrator. If we want to um, not do not consider the transient time between let's say zero millisecond and about 50 milliseconds we change here the simulation and we say it's time to start setting up data let's say for example 60 milliseconds which okay we'll click the run button again and we have here our clean trace in which we have the input and the output of our integrator circuit thank you for your attention